there, I'm Jenna and I'm a naturalist at the Montana Natural History Center. This is my mini naturalist, Sam. We are so excited because it's officially spring in Montana. And even though it's kind of cold and not very green out, there are still a lot of signs of spring around. So today we're on the Kemp Williams Trail in Missoula and we're gonna do something that you and your family can do too, a signs of spring scavenger hunt. On our list, wildflowers, frog eggs, birds singing, tree buds, insects, bird nests, worms, turtles, woodpeckers drumming, and puddles. Come for a walk with us and see how many signs of spring we can find. Let's go. Okay. We found a sign of spring! Tree buds! This is a cottonwood tree and their buds are really special because inside is a sticky red goo called resin and it smells really sweet. You smell that? And, and yummy. Sam says, and yummy. Yeah. Let's see if we can find more buds. We found another sign of spring, birds singing. We're about to enter the Clark Fork Native Prairie. Let's see what we find. Sam, what kind of flower is this? A buttercup. This is buttercup, and Sam says that its genus name is Ranunculus. Buttercups are yellow and glossy, and sometimes have five petals, sometimes more, but they have many stamens and many pistils. They get their name because the glossy yellow kind of looks like butter, and the scientific genus name Ranunculus actually means little frog in Latin. We found another wildflower. Next to all of these buttercups and ponderosa pine cones is this little tiny flower that hasn't even opened yet. When it does, it'll be a yellow bell, which look kind of exactly how they sound, a little yellow flower shaped like a bell. And they don't last very long, but when they age, they turn a cool reddish color. As you can see, there's not too much going on in the prairie right now, but that'll change really soon. This entire place will be covered in wildflowers. Things like arrowleaf balsam root, lupine, bitterroot, so many beautiful flowers. We're looking for insects. Sometimes you can find insects under rocks or in trees. Let's go take a look. Look at these box elder bugs, Sam. We don't want to touch them, but you could put your finger on the bark by them. Yeah. So if you hear a funny call that kind of sounds like a monkey, that's a flicker, which is a type of woodpecker, and I bet we'll hear it drumming soon. I heard drumming. We get to mark it off on our scavenger hunt. What do woodpeckers say? Found more tree buds and even cooler in this tree is a giant nest made out of sticks, which I think was made by a magpie. What's really cool about spring right now before the leaves bloom is that you can see old nests from last year still in the tree, which we wouldn't be able to see if this tree was full of leaves. We found six things on our scavenger hunt. Here are the things we didn't see. Turtles, frog eggs, worms, and puddles. So right now it's a little early for frog eggs and turtles, but look for them on a warm day near a pond. And if you want to see puddles and worms, look for them right after it rains. Thanks for connecting with nature with us. Go on your own spring scavenger hunt and tell us how many signs of spring you find. Don't forget to check out montananaturalist.org for more videos and educational resources. See you soon, friends.